there are three effective ways to sharpen eyes in Photoshop. We definitely want eyes to be sharp and in focus, even if other parts of the model are out of focus or the background's out of focus, because really oftentimes the people are looking at the eyes and they look at a portrait photo. Go ahead and open up architecture.jpg and press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. The first way to sharpen eyes I'm going to show you is if we simply click and hold on to the blur tool and go to the sharpen tool. And there's a couple settings up here. There's like strength 50%, 100%. We can keep it 100% for this because we're working on a duplicated layer. We can experiment with different strengths, but for this one, it should be fine at 100%. Definitely make sure protect detail is selected though. That's going to protect the detail of our original area. I'm going to choose a soft edge brush here and I'm just going to click and drag. That really brings out a lot of detail in the eye. You can see it there. Now, if we did it too much, we can adjust the opacity down like so. And sh so the bottom layer starts to show through a little bit like that. Of course, we can go back and let's bring the strength down a little bit. If you think, uh, well, I'd rather do that rather than messing with the opacity a whole lot, you can click and drag. And the more you click and drag on it, the sharper it's going to be. All right, so that's one way. I'm going to click and drag that top layer to the trash icon. Press Control or Command J again, duplicate again. Here's the second technique to sharpen eyes. If you just go to Filter, Sharpen, there is Smart Sharpen, but I'm actually going to go to Unsharp Mask. And make sure Preview is selected. And it's going to preview it in here and over here. So. And we'll just experiment with the amount. So if you bring it way over to the right, you know, you don't want to go too far where it just kind of looks really contrasty and too harsh of an edge. So that's pretty good. And then radius, we can experiment with. Radius is basically, once it gets to an edge there, how, how exaggerated that edge is going to be. So you can really overdo that. So I'm going to keep that down to about 1, but I'm going to keep amount pretty high up to about 150% or so. And so once I hit OK, the problem is it, it, it sharpened the entire layer. So we need to add a layer mask that will just mask out everything. Hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click Add Layer Mask icon on the bottom of the Layers panel. It creates a mask, but it's black, so it's just masked out this top sharpened layer. And then we want to paint some white in, so make sure your foreground color is white. And you're going to paint in some white like that. Make sure you have a soft edge brush. And there we go. And if you Alt or Option click, you can see that's our mask and you can paint it a little bit there. So the eyes are really sharp, even if other areas, and you could actually sharpen more areas on the face, but for this, we're really just worried about the, the eyes being sharp. So that's a second method. It's just selective sharpening with an unsharp mask and a layer mask. Third way is let's go ahead and press Control or Command J again, duplicate this layer. Let's go to Filter and then Other and then go to High Pass. With High Pass, we want to move this radius until there's a lot of detail in there, but we don't want to overdo it where it becomes comes like that. That's way too much. So it's still going to look kind of gray, but something like. I think 2.8 or so for the, if you're using the support file, should be fine. 2.6. Click OK, and then change the layer blending mode of this top one down to linear light. And if it's too strong, bring the opacity down a little bit. The problem is all of this is sharpened again. So add a layer mask, hold down Alt or Option if you want it to be completely black, which we do. Then we just want to paint some white so it'll pop through on certain areas with a nice soft edge brush. And the other areas, say you wanted to make the hair sharpened as well, that's fine. Made the lips, and you can alt click, and that's our mask right there. But So it's selective sharpening, but with a high pass. So that's three ways to sharpen eyes in Photoshop.